your risk assessment um, is about your understanding of the fair presentation oops, of the financial statement. Okay, fine, not a problem. So most of us are kind of okay with the concept of um, the concept of risks. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's right. Like, what could go wrong with the financial statements? That's great. Now we have our our audit risk, which is the risk of us expressing an inappropriate opinion. Okay, so you know that's that's our inappropriate opinion, which is made up of the inherent risks, okay, which is, uh, you know, what's likely to go wrong just purely because it exists, you know, just purely because it's there, that's our inherent and our detection risk, okay? Now, uh, oh, I'm such an idiot. I haven't had enough coffee today. Not your detection risk, your control risk. <laughs> and then your detection risk. My bad. Okay, so this is what we refer to as our risk of material misstatement. And this is all about us as auditors. Okay, so this, the detection risk is about us as auditors and going, we're too stupid to find the misstatements. We're too stupid, we don't know enough, um, our clerks are inexperienced, we didn't spend enough time, whatever the case is, this is about us as auditors, right? So. The nice thing about this is that when you're looking at something and you're going, okay, I'm trying to split my risks or how do I deal with my risks? This is a, a fairly easy one to deal with because this, you're just continually asking, you know, where or what's happening here that's going to impact me? Like, what is it about me? My job as auditors, like this is about us. Whereas this is about the client. Like what's going on with the client? What's happening with the client? Um, and that's the risk that the client has stuffed up the financial statements, right? Now, if the client stuffs up the financial statement, but we pick up those misstatements, right? If the client has stuffed it up, but we pick it up and go, hey, you stuffed it up, then we're still gonna be okay because we're going to tell people, um, guys, uh, you know, the users of the financials and the people reading the audit report, we're gonna tell them, guys, they stuffed this up, so, you know, you need to be aware of it. Our job is not to get the financial statements right. Ours is to tell other people the financial statements are right or not right. Okay, so if management stuffed up the financials and we go, okay, we picked up that you stuffed it up and we're telling other people that you stuffed it up, we're good, all fine, right? If management's financial statements are crap and we're a bit crap as well, that's when we run the risk of, telling other people, yeah, everything's okay. Management stuffed up the financial statements, but we weren't smart enough to pick up the fact that they stuffed up the financial statements. Then we're going to tell other people that they're, you know. So that's, you know, that's why um, we, we have that as a formula, okay? That's why. And when it comes to my audit risk, I'm always thinking about the users. Like, what is it that the users are looking for? What is it that the users are looking for? What is it that the users are looking for? What is the... Uh, what is the possibility that I might tell them something's okay when it's not okay and that's going to be the thing that changes their decision? They're going to give a loan when maybe they wouldn't have. They're going to invest in the company when maybe they wouldn't have. That type of thing. Fine. Okay. Now, let's talk about this component here. I'm not going to focus on control risk here because um, you know, we generally separate control controls out of this particular process and most of our most of our risks in terms of what you deal with and how it comes up most of the so when they do risks they go okay i'm going to do you know we're focusing on inherent risks uh, so i'm going to focus on that 